Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of September 23rd through September 29th and I'm slowly but surely trying really hard to catch up. I have like the schedule that I'm trying to follow so that I can get caught up by the holidays. So we'll see if it actually works out. Um, work has been pretty busy so I can't really guarantee but it's definitely something I'm aiming for. So for this week, I'm going to be using this Hello Autumn kit from Stickers by Ashley K and I love love her kits so much because they're always really unique. I'm pretty sure she doesn't hand draw, but um, she just uses clip arts that I don't see very often. So this autumn kit, I just felt like, um, well, not so much the boxes, but the bottom washi here is so gorgeous. Um, it creates like this little scene. So I just had to have it. And um, the only downside is that I purchased this kit quite a long time ago. And I do notice that the paper is like yellowing in some of the spots, like right here. Um, you can't tell so much where it's printed but you can definitely see it where the paper is white so that is unfortunately one of the downsides I don't quite know exactly what kind of paper she uses but um, I was thinking of reaching out to her to let her know um, just in case she wasn't aware so anyways I only picked up three sheets from this kit so we have eight full boxes and some heart checklists here so on the checklist you can kind of tell that the hearts are like a shade of yellow instead of white so that is where it's affected and then we have the bottom washi and um, these date covers as well as a quarter box Box. And on the last page here, we have half boxes, heart check flags. We have this like strip of vertical washi, and then we have um, water trackers and meal trackers. Um, I picked up these sheets a la carte, and I didn't get the sheets that had quarter boxes. So that is definitely something I'll have to pull in because I do really like using quarter boxes. Um, but everything else, I think I'll just be able to pull in from the kit. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. And um, oh, also for this week, I want to pull in this gold foiled washi. This is from Scotch Expressions. I just picked this up at Target and I just really wanted to pull in some gold foiling with this kit. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. And I'll explain everything as I um, build the spread. I start by whiting out just that little sliver um, in the bottom washi area. And this is something I've been doing in the new Erin Condren planner to try to create like this little space between the day and the bottom washi. The shorter strip of washi I noticed was a little bit too long for the space, so I go ahead and trim that off. The tool that I'm using is called the Slice Precision Cutter, and I just got that off of Amazon. So once I'm done with that, I place down that strip of decorative washi that also came with the kit, and it kind of creates this continuous bottom washi strip, which I really like. And then I go ahead and build my sidebar. So because the sheets that I picked up did not come with sidebar items, I go ahead and pull in this Monday through Sunday box from my collection, and that quarter box is also from my leftover stash. I pulled in a heart checklist to mark my happy moments and that quarter box was the only one that came in the kit. Um, the habit tracker was for my leftover stash and I initially placed down the Hello Autumn quote box in the top corner but I decided to use that on Monday instead because Monday was the first day of fall so it would make more sense to put that quote box on Monday. I decided to use the tree full box in the top instead and I think it's so beautiful and I'm really glad I put it there. To mark my happy moments, I used a gold foiled heart sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then I go ahead and move to placing down all of the date covers. Um, these ones, like you saw, came in the kit. And I also used these gold foil date dots from Tagami Fox. Now moving to Monday, I started by placing down a strip of that gold foiled washi. If you skipped my intro, I got that washi from Target and it's from the Scotch Expressions brand. I decided to trim it down a little thinner so it's the size of a header and then I found this pumpkin spice latte sticker from Hazel Stickers Fall Bucket List Sheet and um, I cut off the spice latte part because I had a pumpkin cream cold brew that morning um, but I just thought that sticker was so cute so I really wanted to use it. I placed down a meal little things to mark that I got Panda Express for lunch that day and then I put down a half box with this gold foiled pencil sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark an afternoon meeting. Like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to put the Hello Autumn full box um, on Monday, so I go ahead and place that down. And then we watched the Chef Show on Netflix, so I used a gold foiled TV icon from Magic Prince Co. At the very bottom, I put down a quarter box, and in the remaining space, I pulled in this edit sticker. I think that's from Echo Hui Craft Co. And I also used this adorable little YouTube icon from Paper and Milk to mark that I did some editing. And then on the quarter box, I used another gold foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that I had a long chat with one of my friends that night. 
Moving to Tuesday, I first put down a full box at the top, then I used another strip of that gold foiled washi with a quarter box from my leftover stash, and I pulled in this bow paper clip sticker that's from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a morning meeting I had. I used another little things from the kit to mark my lunch that day, and then I pulled in this gold foiled pencil sticker, that one is from Samantha May Sticks, to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. That night, we went and grabbed dinner with my friend and her husband. We went to one of our favorite Japanese restaurants, um, so I put that on a half box with a noodle sticker from a Happy Blue Tree. The brush lettering pen that I'm using this week is from Pilot, and I haven't used this one in quite some time, um, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And I decided to lift up the half box because I wanted to mark that my friend came over before dinner. Um, we were waiting for her husband to get off work, and so we just kind of hung out at our place for a while. That gold foiled house sticker was a leftovers from a Nikki Plus 3 kit that I used a few weeks ago. We didn't really do anything after dinner, and I just slept early, so I decided to mark that with a three arrow gold foiled sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. On Wednesday, I decided to start by placing down a full box there at the bottom, and then I used a gold foiled washi strip on top of that. Moving to the top, I started by placing down a Today header. That one I found in my leftovers collection and I thought it matched the kit pretty well. I used a quarter box with a car sticker from that same Nikki Plus 3 leftover sheet, and then I placed down this gold foiled IEP sticker from Jador Planning to mark an IEP meeting that I had that day. I then placed down another scallop label, and those are from The Creative Seller. I wanted to mark that my boyfriend had something to do that day, and so um, he didn't come home until pretty late. So I had some time to myself. Um, on the half box, I used that Me Time sticker, and that is from Hazel Sticker. I realized I didn't have enough space to mark everything I wanted, and so I nixed the Today header at the top and scooted everything up a little bit. And then in the remaining space, I placed down this Maru the Marshmallow on fire sticker, and it says, this is fine, because that was the day I lost all my video footage on my memory card, and I was so upset and frustrated, um, but like trying to hold it together. So I thought that little sticker was so perfect to mark how I felt. And on the full box, I wanted to mark that I watched Friends for a while, and so I used a TV sticker from Brandy Shop, and again, the brush lettering pen is from Pilot. That was it for Wednesday, so I go ahead and move to Thursday. I first put down a Today header, which is also from my leftover stash, and then I wanted to mark my lunch that I actually did pack for the day. Um, I had some tacos, so I used this taco sticker from Laban Forest. I placed down a strip of the gold foiled washi, and then I used a half box with this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. again to mark a meeting that I had. I used a full box underneath that, and then I wanted to mark that I went and grabbed happy hour with a couple of my friends, so I used this happy hour script sticker from Paper and Milk, and the girl holding the beer is from Whimsical Cat Studio. At the very bottom, I placed down a to-do header with a two-heart checklist to mark some things that I did, and um, I used a gold foiled car sticker from that Nikki Plus 3 leftover sheet to mark um, getting gas, because that was one of the items on the list. Moving to Friday, I had quite a few meetings back to back, and so I placed down a full box first. That gold foiled meeting sticker is from Hazel Sticker, and I also used a gold foiled pencil from Hazel Sticker to mark my first meeting. I then had two IEP meetings back to back, so the first one I used a IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark that, and then the second meeting I used another gold foiled IEP flag from Jador Planning, and I was so busy that day I ended up skipping lunch because I just had no time to take a lunch break, um, and that's really unlike me. Even when I'm busy usually I try to carve out just like five minutes to inhale something because um, I don't do well when I'm hungry, and so um, that day was kind of rough. I used a half box with this super drama queen girl who is so cute that is from Paper Bear Co. to mark that I was super hungry. And then I pulled in a quarter box from my leftovers collection. Um, but before that, I wanted to add a strip of the gold foiled washi on top of the half box. So I go ahead and lift everything up, place that down, and then put all the boxes back down. Um, so on the quarter box, I used a Spam Musubi sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we had some Hawaiian food for dinner. And that night, I just had what I called a self-care night um, because I had some margaritas and then I started Gilmore Girls, um, which I have never seen before and I love it so much. It is so cute and sweet and um, I just can't believe I had never watched it until now. Um, but anyways, that gold foiled self-care night sticker is from Randy.Plans and the foiled check boxes are from Samantha May Sticks. 
Moving on to Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom and then I moved back to the top. So for the weekend banner, I first decided to place down a strip of the gold foiled washi across the top and then the kit or the sheets that I picked up from the kit did not include a weekend banner. So I pulled in this one from my newest addiction that I just had in my collection. On Saturday, I wanted to mark that I was home alone for most of the day because my boyfriend had an event that he was attending and I used this Happy Maru sticker from Paper and Milk just because it's always kind of fun to have some me time at home. And I decided to work backwards for this day because there were so many things that I did. Um, I didn't want to cover up that full box because it's really pretty. And so I just had to kind of prioritize when I wanted to mark. So the first thing I did was use a Meals Little Things at the bottom to mark that I crashed at a friend's house that night. And then I used this gold foiled movie marquee from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that we went to this indie pop rock concert called Electric Feels um, that we've been going to for a while now. And um, in the remaining space, I used a three heart checklist from the kit with a today header um, that was in my leftover stash. I'm glad the colors matched so well. And I just used that checklist to mark some things that I did that day. I had so many things I wanted to mark, so this wasn't even all of it, but I just chose kind of the most important things. And um, that was it. So I moved to Sunday. On Sunday, I used another scallop label from the creative seller to mark that I drove home in the morning. It was like 6 a.m. when I woke up and I was like, okay, like I have enough energy to drive home now. Um, I used a gold foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then when I got home, I took a very long nap because I was super comfortable in my own bed. So I used a half box to mark that with a sleeping girl sticker from Plans with Vanessa. I placed down a full box and used another strip of the gold foiled washi underneath that. On the full box, I used this like bandaged up um, piggy bank sticker because we decided to get a Costco membership. And on our first trip, we spent so much money. It was ridiculous. We got like an entire cart full of stuff. So that sticker was pretty accurate for what happened. Um, underneath the washi, I used a meal icon to mark what we had for dinner. And then we spent the rest of the night watching TV. So I put that on a half box. Um, that TV icon, is from my spoiled planner. That concludes my week, so I just moved back to my sidebar and track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. I have been doing so poorly with workouts this year, um, but it is what it is. So anyways, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in these three pages. I used most of the stickers, but there were still some things that I didn't really need. And now I'm just doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this spread, which I think turned out really gorgeous. Um, I really love how the colors of this kit complemented really well with the gold foil. So yeah that is it for today's spread i really hope you guys enjoyed this i think it was a perfect kit to use to ring in fall and yeah thank you so so much for watching as usual and please let me know if you have any questions um i hope you all have a wonderful week and i will talk to you guys next time bye